All right. On that note, I did want to bring up one last thing that I thought of when Hannah was talking. Um, I did mention that uh, uh, earlier, you know, you get, just get something working. Uh, it is important to have something working. Um, and even if you just take a video of it, Hannah mentioned, you know, get something working and then stash it and work on something else. If you want to take a video of like a, a GIF or something, a short video, 30 seconds of here's my app doing something, you can present that at the demo and not have to, like, you still have to come up and live talk about it, but you can show videos and GIFs and everything. You don't have to actually go in and log into your app and hope that the network connection is working at that time and everything. It's, it's fine. I actually recommend doing like a little short video that you could put in the background as you talk. I also have a presentation, flip through sides and everything. Uh, but one thing that I did want to share with you guys in terms of how to present, uh, this is something that the global organizing team sent us. See if I can find it. I was just looking at it. There we go. So these are called uh, 30 seconds of glory and 240 seconds of glory. Let me see if I could uh, make this a little bigger. OK, so this is just a breakdown of how to present, basically, uh, demos. But it, it's all, it also applies with a lot of presentations. You know, Just start off by introducing yourself. Introduce yourself. Uh, talk about what the challenge is and lead us into the problem that you're trying to solve, uh, which then leads us to the solution. Uh, this is all within the scope of 30 seconds. You'll have more than 30 seconds. This is just breaking it down, I think, for a video or something. Because um, I think when you, if you win locally, you create a 30-second video to send to NASA. So uh, name your solution, just like, you know, this is the challenge, this is the name of it. This is just a brief couple sentences of what it does. Uh, and then we describe the idea and talk, a little, talk about it a little bit more in depth. You don't have to go into the, like the tech stack or anything. You can if you want to, if there's something cool that you want to highlight or, you know, a sponsor API. If you use sponsor code, please say that. They love it when we use their software. They give us more money next year. Um, and then uh, one of the big things, as Hannah pointed out, is the last part, which is looking forward. Given more time and resources, what could your project become? If we got you know a $50,000 grant from NASA and we just like had like six months to work on this thing or whatever it is, this is where we would take it. Um, you know, not promising anything, but you know, just like you, know, you could phrase it like that. Um, and so that's just a very short breakdown. Uh, if you look at it, this is the entire weekend comes uh, f uh, boils down into this these four minutes um, and this is really how it breaks down so you could think of it like reverse engineer a project this is the presentation we like to give what do we need to build in order to enhance this presentation uh, and then the, uh, the other document was uh, is 240 seconds of success this is the more built out version and I could I'll share these with everybody because it's difficult to read on here but it basically says the same thing introduce yourself who are you um, win them over win the judges over with a story um, it's always good storytelling is very important when it comes to presentations describe the problem and get them to empathize with uh, your perspective on the the problem and bring them around set them up for a really just knock your socks off solution uh, and that, that's the second problem and then explain your innovation so you you set up this problem and they're like oh I really wish you know there's all this plastic in the ocean it's just it seems unbearable and there's nothing we could do about it and it's gonna be like this forever and it's gonna ruin everybody's lives and the, the world's over and all of a sudden your big idea comes on and then they're there you got them right there and now they're listening to every word you're saying and you then lead them into your your uh, your solution um, and then you talk about um, impact in your needs so here's my solution here's what we're doing this is how we could you know improve the earth or better humanity whatever it is and here's what we need to do it um, 90 percent of what nasa does is we have a plan to do everything we just don't have the money for it we know how to get to mars we've known how to do that since the 70s we just don't have the money for it that's what we're doing here we're saying this is what we're going to do now let's figure out a way to go do it um so i'll, I'll share these out uh with everybody but this is a very uh uh, easy guide to follow when forming presentations. It's one of the things that everyone usually forgets about until noon on Sunday. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah presentation. Let's just like throw some screenshots together and then we're good. Uh, put a little more thought into that. I would recommend start, try to get your stuff ready by morning and then morning on Sunday, start working on a presentation or delegate one or two people to work on this. You don't need every person coming in here and saying three words and then handing off the microphone to someone else. You can have one person just present the entire thing. Um, and then have everybody ready for questions because it's a four-minute presentation with a one-minute Q&A from judges. So 
have everybody ready to just answer questions. Uh, if someone knows more about part of the app, you can delegate to them.